Hey guys, it's Flippin' Friday, and for today's DIY, I'm going to be using these tiles that I got from Habitat for Humanity Restore. I bought a box of them like a year and a half ago, and I just kind of randomly used them here and there, but um, I figured today would be a good day to use them. I'll be using a cork adhesive sheet from the Dollar Tree, as well as this little stencil wheel that I got from Dollar Tree, and I got this awesome color of chalk paint at Michael's on clearance over the summer and I really or actually it might have been a year or so ago um, I really love the color I don't use it as often as I probably would want to but I decided to go ahead and pull it out because I wanted to use it and I'm going to be using a makeup sponge to put the um, to paint the stencil and the makeup sponge just works better. And what I do is I'll use it, let it dry. And then when I'm going to use it again, I just cut off that dry, you know, the, the paint that hardened on there. I just cut it off and keep using it until the paint, you know, until it's gone. <laughs> um, and I think the these work, you know, work really well for stuff like this. So I'm going to go ahead and just put like a light coat of the chalk paint on the stencil because I don't want it to be too too bright because they are going to be for like my living room and the color in here is not as bright as the paint so I'm just going to go light and um, just make a quick you know light coat over it how many times can I say the word light um, so I'll um, once I'm done doing that then I'm going to take that one off and I'm going to move on to the next uh, tile and I'm going to be using two of the patterns on this stencil wheel they were the only two that I really, you know, really liked and thought would go with my decor in my living room and dining room. So, yeah, that's what I'm doing. So today's um, challenge is hosted by Jamie over at Border Bananas, and I will have all the information in my description box, um, the playlist, the links to her channels. And um, so be sure to go head on, head on over to her channel, click on the playlist check out all the creators i'm sure there's going to be lots of inspiration there's always so many good you know uh videos on these playlists for the border bananas so definitely go check that out and if you're coming over from the playlist thank you so much for stopping by I truly truly appreciate it and um if you like what you see hit the subscribe button hit the like button comment down below let me know you came over from the playlist and if you are one of my returning subscribers, you know I appreciate you. Thank you so much. Um, so yeah, see, I tried to use the paintbrush. It didn't work. So I just went back to my makeup sponge. So I did four. I did two of each pattern. And then I am going to use the cork adhesive to put on the bottom so it doesn't uh, scratch up our tables. So I went ahead, cut four pieces, glued those onto the bottom of the tiles. And that was it for the tiles. So next I got this little wood tray. I wanted something to put them in because we lost all of our uh, <laughs> all of our coasters. So I figured maybe this way we could keep track of them, <laughs> hopefully. So I had this little wood piece that I found at Dollar, at uh, not Dollar Tree, at um, <laughs> this little sign is from Target Dollar Spot. And I got it either this summer or last summer, I can't remember, but I just went ahead and gave it a couple coats of the Waverly chalk paint and ink. And you can still kind of see like the lettering, but it's not, it's not too bad. So initially what I was going to do was I was going to write on the, like the little palette sign or whatever you want to call it. Um, I was going to write, or actually I did write on it. And then once I wrote on it, my brain kind of kicked into gear and I realized that that wasn't going to work and you'll see why here in just a second so what I did was I glued that sign onto the back of this little wood container what I don't know what it is it's just a little wood box um, I went ahead and I glued that onto the back of it that way the tiles wouldn't fall out of the little container and so once I glued it together and I put the tiles in there or the coasters now because I put the cork on them, I realized that you weren't going to be able to see those words. So I went ahead, took those out, <laughs> covered it over with another couple coats of the black um, paint again. And then I went ahead, found these stickers in my craft room and I decided to write drinks on me on the little wood 
little wood um, box instead of writing it on the little palette that way you can actually see it <laughs> so once I'm done doing that I just made sure they were lined up put them on there and then I rubbed them on because these weren't really sticking very well and also um, I'm going to be giving the tiles like a coat of either polycrylic or Mod Podge. I'm cleaning up my craft room so I couldn't find any. They're, I have everything like in boxes right now so I couldn't find any Mod Podge. I couldn't find my polycrylic or anything. So if you do this, make sure you give it a coat of something so that that paint doesn't, you know, come off. And I'll probably put a coat of Mod Podge over these stickers because they don't stick really, really well. So I want to make sure that they stay on there. And guys, that is it. I thought this was really cute, kind of farmhousey. Farmhousey. <laughs> it gives me the farmhouse vibe. But let me know in the um, comments what you, if you like it. And until next time, be blessed and be the reason someone smiles. Bye.